Hello there, welcome to our channel Trendy Movie Recap. Our channel gives you movie briefs while capturing the moral of the movie storyline. Please subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell to be notified every time we post a video in future. This video is based on a movie titled Black Widow. This movie begins with a girl, Natasha, riding a bicycle on an estate road in Ohio in the year 1995. She waves to other kids playing on swings at the roadside. She whistles to her sister, Yelena, then starts playing with her after which she falls and calls mom, Melina. She comes and they talk for a bit then go in the house to have dinner and set the table. Their dad, Alexei, comes in and they start packing and leave hastily carrying weapons. They drive for a while as Yelena sings along to a song on the car radio. They come to a stop at a hangar where they get into a plane and start it. Alexei hangs back and fights off police who drive and headed towards them. The police start shooting at the plane injuring Melina, who is piloting the plane. She calls Natasha to help her as Alexei shoots back at the police. Just as he completely destroys them, Natasha manages to get the fly plane. They fly for a while after which they land on an army airstrip in Cuba. Melina is put in a lorry while Alexei talks to a man, General Drakov, telling him of not working undercover again. Yelena runs towards Melina, and is stopped by a soldier of whom Natasha runs towards. Natasha takes his gun and points it at him yelling that she will kill anyone who will touch Yelena. Alexei takes the gun and convinces both that they will be okay just as soldiers inject some vial through their necks. They both immediately lose consciousness and are carried away by some soldiers. Drakov is seen directing men to open a ship container where Natasha and Yelena, among others are. He orders them to be separated and put in different transportation vehicles, while Natasha gives Yelena some photos. Natasha as well as other girls are put inside a lorry just as Drakov drives off. The girls are then seen training on how to fight using weapons and hand-to-hand -hand combat. 21 years later, Natasha is in a restroom washing her face in a sink and looking at a live feed from her phone. She makes a call to a man, Secretary Ross, with a group of armed men outside the building she is getting the live feed from. She hangs up just as the men go in and realizes that she is not in the building. She then goes out of the bathroom and throws the phone off the boat she is on. Yelena and her colleague are holding sniper guns at the top of buildings aiming at another woman, Oksana, in a different building. She spots them and runs out while Yelena follows her down on the streets. She catches up and they fight until Yelena stabs Oksana, after which she sprays some gas on her face. She realizes what she has done as Oksana tells her to save others then dies. Her partner asks for a status report then tells the team to converge on the team leader. Yelena removes a chip from her leg just as reports of her dissertation reach Drakov. She then takes the box with the vials and runs off just as the taskmaster, Antonia, is given a mission. Natasha drives to her house in the woods listening to news on her car's radio. On arrival, she finds a man, Rick Mason, on her bed sleeping, and wakes him up. He gives her some documents and explains some things including the mail from Budapest after which he leaves. She takes the mail including the box Yelena took from Oksana, and puts it in the trunk of her car as she is eating. Her lights go off, and she tries to turn on the generator to no avail. She realizes she has no fuel for the generator after which she drives off to get some. While on her way, her car gets bombed at a bridge and crashes on the sides, almost falling off. She gets off and sees Antonia with whom they start fighting viciously. Antonia notices the box she came from some distance away, leaves the fight, and goes to get it. Natasha ties her up with a rope and fixes it on the metal rods above which then pulls her as she goes to check inside the box. She cuts it off and fights Natasha, kicking her off the bridge and taking the box. She opens the box only to find it empty then looks at the water for a while and goes away. Natasha comes out of the water and removes the vials from her pocket and sees a picture of her and Yelena. She goes looking for her in Budapest and finds her in a house where they fight for a while. They later reconcile and start talking about each other and the vials. During the talk, they are attacked by women, widows, sent by Drakov. They shoot at them for a while after which they run and are followed by one of them, Ingrid. They jump at the rooftop of buildings and Ingrid falls to the ground breaking her leg. Drakov terminates her for her defect after which Yelena and Natasha run and get on a motorcycle. Antonia arrives with an armored vehicle crashing into everything on her way as she drives after them. They swerve from the road and are followed by another widow on a motorcycle shooting at them. They get into a car after crashing and cut off the window by crashing her into their door. Antonia catches up and bombs their car which falls into a subway. 
She follows them down there but loses them after they trick her and hide. They come to a gas station and enter the market, where Yelena mocks Natasha about her work as an Avenger. They sit and take a drink together as they talk about and make plans on destroying Drakov. They steal a car and drive off as they chit-chat and plan to break Alexei out of prison. They meet with Mason who brings them a helicopter and weapons for their mission. Alexei is arm wrestling with inmates and giving stories when he is called to get mail. He gets his mail and finds a robot Captain America inside, which he finds an earpiece and puts it on. Natasha talks to him giving him directions to get to a place where they will pick him up in the helicopter. He gets outside while other prisoners follow, and the guards start fighting back. Natasha goes out and fights the guards to give Alexei a chance to run as guards shoot at the helicopter. Yelena bombs the watchtower where a guard is shooting at the helicopter with a machine gun. The sound is very loud and causes an avalanche, which brings out snow that covers the whole prison. Natasha manages to get a hold of Alexei, as Yelena flies them off the prison. Alexei reveals that he does not know the location of the Red Room, but can take them to Melina who knows. The helicopter runs out of fuel and crashes after which they start walking towards Melina's residence. As Melina takes care of the pigs, her alarm beeps and after checking realizes it's them who are arriving. She welcomes them in and offers a drink as they talk about their family and about Drakov. Yelena leaves the table and is followed by Alexei, while Natasha and Melina are left behind. Natasha and Melina talk about her past after which she talks of Natasha's mother who was killed by Drakov. Natasha spots an album from their childhood to which she talks of Melina's teachings and joys of those times. She apologizes for alerting them to the Red Room, who will be there any minute to come for them. Alexei tries to calm Yelena down by telling her stories with which she does not want to hear. He starts singing her favorite song for her to which she sings along until bright light shows through the window. Widows alongside Antonia arrive at the residence and take in all of them with the help of Natasha disguised as Melina. They fly off and are taken to the red room high up in the clouds. On arrival, Natasha goes in to speak to Drakov, who is waiting in his office with Antonia. Yelena is strapped to a bed with nurses preparing to work on her when Melina and Alexei come to consciousness in their cells. Drakov reveals Natasha's disguise to which Antonia almost shoots her. Melina uses her skills and knowledge to break both of them out of the cells. She then directs her through an earpiece on how to free herself and get to the rest of the widows. Drakov reveals to Natasha that the taskmaster is his daughter Antonia which startles her. He praises her and boasts to Natasha of how she can mimic everyone's fighting skills. He then sends her to deal with Alexei and Melina to which she wears her headgear and heads out. Natasha tries to kill Drakov, but cannot due to a phenomenal lock in her brain that prevents her from doing it. Antonia arrives at the room where Melina and Alexei are and starts fighting Alexei as Melina leaves. Drakov sees Melina in the control room and restricts her access to the system, locking her inside. Natasha provokes Drakov into beating her up and tricks him into revealing how he runs his empire. Yelena goes on fighting guards and later finds the location of the vials as Alexei fights Antonia. Drakov boasts of his achievements affecting Natasha's plan of getting all information from him. She breaks the phenomenal lock and just as he turns on the alarm she starts beating him up. Widows stop training and immediately take weapons headed to Drakov's office. Melina comes across many guards who have surrounded her and destroys an engine killing them in the process. Yelena goes into the room where the widows were and does not find them to which she runs out. In pursuit, Melina goes back and helps Alexei fight and lock Antonia up in one of the cells. The widows come into Drakov's office and attack Natasha, who is about to kill Drakov. He orders them to kill her then leaves just as they start fighting. Natasha fights them off for a while, but they gang up and become too strong for her. They beat her up until Yelena comes in and explodes the vials after which they stop. Some of the red room floors start exploding as it collapses. Natasha instructs the widows to go out and run as far away as they can as Yelena goes after Drakov. She logs into Drakov's system and copies data on all his widows then takes some remaining vials from the floor. She runs and jumps out a window and holds on to some metal rod as she falls then jumps back in. Melina and Alexei get into a jet, and as they wait for the girls the landing pad collapses. She gains control as the jet falls off and turns it around to go back, but comes across several guards shooting at them. Alexei fights them and one destroys a wing on the jet making it spin out of control. As Natasha runs the floor breaks and she falls outside the cell where Antonia is. 
She opens the door and just as Antonia is about to catch her the floor breaks and they part ways. Natasha slides off onto one of the landing pads where Yelena is running after Drakov who gets into a jet. Yelena gets on the wing of the jet and destroys an engine which explodes throwing her off. Natasha takes a parachute and jumps off after her as the jet explodes. She puts the parachute on Yelena and pushes her away on seeing Antonia in pursuit. Antonia catches up and starts fighting Natasha, crashing on pieces of the building after which she opens up her parachute. They land on the ground and Antonia attacks Natasha after taking off the parachute. They fight for a while until Natasha strikes one of the vials spraying the gas on Antonia. She stops fighting and asks if Drakov is gone after Natasha apologizes. The red room which is in pieces crashes to the ground as Natasha watches. She runs calling out to Yelena, who is on the ground, and wakes her up after which they hug. Melina and Alexei show up and as they talk, Ross and his team show up headed to the crash. The widows show up in a jet and take Antonia, Alexei, Melina, and Yelena, who gives her jacket to Natasha. Natasha gives the vials to Yelena, and is left just as Ross and his team get to the scene. Two weeks later Natasha comes riding on a motorbike and meets Mason, who has brought her a jet with which she flies off. The movie ends as Yelena comes to Natasha's grave and is met by a woman, Valentina. She shows her a photo of a man who is her next target and also the one responsible for Natasha's death. Please subscribe to our channel for more of such videos, share our videos, and leave a comment on the comment section.